Hey everyone, this is Joe with Sign Tracker. Thanks for watching this video on starting a new job. So when a customer calls in to your shop and wants a quote on a sign, so whether you're a smaller print shop that just does say banners and coroplast signs and real estate signs, or you're a larger electric sign shop that maybe there's multiple things that have to be done before you give a quote to a, a client, in Sign Tracker, you always start a new job. And I know for some people, they get a little hung up on that. It's like, well, it's not really a job, it's an opportunity. We feel like you always have to do something to that job. Also, there's information like notes and client logos and official quotes and customer contracts that are submitted. So it's nice to have a place to keep all that information. And if for some reason you don't get the job, that's okay, you can archive that, keep it, and if the client calls you in a few months from now and says, hey, I changed my mind. The guy down the street was terrible. I'm gonna go with you instead. Then you have all their information. So let me just show you where to start a job in Sign Tracker. You can start it from the dashboard. So if you're a big dashboard person, there is a link there to start a new job. I always like to do everything under the jobs tab. So this is the job list view. You can see there's a button here, start a new job. Also on the job flow board, you can start a new job. Um, or you can just use this drop down menu, new job. So now when you open the job, a client calls, it's gonna automatically give you numbers. They're gonna be sequential. You can start them wherever you want. So if, for example, you already have a numbering system or that you're using in QuickBooks and you're already up to a certain amount of job numbers. When you're first starting Sign Tracker, just the first job, I think it's gonna default to, to 1001, but you are welcome to change that to whatever you want. The numbers will be sequential from that point and the system won't let you repeat numbers. Job name, if, if you have a naming uh, system, it can be anything you want, it's fine. Or let's just say this is just a simple banner job and you want to just have it a banner. Description, we're gonna say it's a four by eight banner. And again, you know, we're keeping, this is just simple for this uh, video, but let's say it's a multi-sign project. You can put multi-sign project, multi-sign ADA project, if you do bigger stuff like that, multi-sign electric project. Because you can do multiple quotes on a single job. So for example, if you're going out and you're doing, let's say, you know, a vehicle wrap and they need some site signs and some graphics on their window, you can group all those all those products under one job if, if it's all done at the same time for one client. Client info, so if it's a brand new client, you can just type their name in here. It'll automatically feed it to the contact management section. It'll also tag this job to that client's history. So moving forward, if you need to, you know, go look up that client, you can see all the jobs that you did. But let's just say this job is somebody that's already in the system. We'll say ABC Bank. It's gonna automatically pull all the information from the contact section. If Again, if they're a brand new customer and you enter them in here, including all their address information, it's gonna automatically send that and save it in the contact section as well. Now this job is going to be associated with ABC Bank. Next, we're going to uh, uh, we're going to add a contact. So let's say there is uh, several people at this uh, company that you work with. So this is great because a lot of sign shops do this. You know, they wor we work with general contractors and architects, design firms, whatever, and uh, property management companies. And there's always, you know, usually several contacts at that one company. So this is great. So now this job is going to be tagged to the history of not only the company, it's gonna be tagged to the history of this individual. And so if you go look up this person, you can see all the jobs you did for the company, and then you can click all the different people at that company and see what you did for each of those. Then you can uh, say if this is a product or a service job, and that will go on the calendar as a product or service, they're coded different colors. You can um, assign this. If, you, if you're a big shop and you have project managers and sales reps, that's great. You can assign it. If you're a small shop and you do everything, you can assign it everything to yourself. Um, if you, if you, don't, you don't even have to do this. So if you just want to just leave that blank for now, you can. If for some reason you know a due date, great. You can put it, you know, you can put a due date here. Usually on a brand new job, you might not know the due date until after you sell it. Location, if it's something you're going to install outside the shop, uh, you can put that here, or let's say the customer for this one is just going to pick it up. So we'll say pick up. Let me submit it, and that's it. You've started a new job in Sign Tracker. I like to call this my electronic job folder. 
Uh, so basically, everything you do in this job, you can do from here. So you can create tasks for your team, and you can create task templates, which you can watch a video later on down the line for all different types of sign projects. So you would just go here, and it would give you all the tasks to get that particular type of project done. They can be assigned to people. Notes, and it'll timestamp it. So let's just say um, testing, and we're going to just write testing again. Add the note. So it's going to timestamp it, and you can see who, and multiple people can take notes. So if I'm logged in as a salesperson and a project manager logs in, I really liked using this uh, for getting emails. I would often get emails in the chain of uh, the thread of those emails would be long and especially if it was an email approving a color type or um, or size or location for a sign I used to just copy and paste the entire email right in here then I'd never lose it you can attach all your job files um, here and you can either you know click this and it'll navigate to your computer and you can upload the files you can also just drag and drop them the other th cool thing about this too is if you if you do surveys in the field if you take a bunch of pictures you just open sign tracker in your browser on your phone on your smartphone and you come here you click this with your thumb it'll navigate to your camera and then you can just go click 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 and it'll upload all your photos uh, and of course, you do your quoting and contracts as videos you can watch on that. There's also a bonus to sign templates. There is a lot of different sign templates in here. They're all were created in Adobe Illustrator. They're, P they're saved as PDFs, but all the vector is preserved, so you can download them and use them any way you want. And there are hundreds, uh, dozens, I should say, not hundreds, dozens of forms in here, everything from survey sheets to job costing sheets to work orders. And I just encourage you to you know look at those and, and go through those. It's just a lot of them in here. And I'll have another video just showing you how to use those as well. Anyway, that is how to start a new job in Sign Tracker. So now if I close this, I'm done with it. Um, that job will now show up in the first column of your job flow board. So I think when you first start Sign Tracker, it'll say open jobs. Uh, or open bids you can change this name to opportunity or whatever you want and then again you know if you don't get this job for some reason you just archive it it's no problem so anyway that is how you start a new job in sign tracker thanks so much for joining me today and we'll see you in the next video have a great day thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel where we'll be posting updated videos on a regular basis. And if you have any questions or suggestions, we'd love to hear from you through our chat tool found in the app. Thanks again. Have a great day.